The students gave the nation's second lady a warm reception. Mrs. Quayle responded with a bit of cheerful skepticism. I have a feeling the cheers were more for the fact that you were out of class than the fact that you're down here getting to listen to me. There were a lot of sparks during the question and answer session. One student asked how the vice president could be pro-life when he spoke against single mothers. Mrs. Quayle said that's a media misrepresentation. He never spoke about single motherhood. He spoke about the attitude that fathers are absolutely unnecessary and unneeded. That's wrong. Another student cited statistics that show there are fewer jobs now than there were four years ago. She asked why so much money is spent on other countries. That drew student cheers and a stern response. We're not helping other people's economies pick up. I'm trying to explain something to you which I think you don't understand. We help people at home first before we do anything abroad and mostly our aid is to help open markets so that we can have, as we develop other countries' peace and stability, help them, we have more markets to sell our goods. That didn't satisfy the student who asked the question. I'm sorry, but I think today was kind of a, a, a joke, not to put down the vice president's wife or anything like that, but these issues she was talking about today, they seem to be far off from the real issues that are really concerning us. Most of the student questions were fairly aggressive. I think that a little bit of that's good. I think that sometimes I pushed a little bit too hard, but I don't know, what are you going to do? <laughs> I, think the, I think the issues needed to be addressed. In defending the Bush administration, Mrs. Quayle said the federal budget has nothing to do with Maine's projected $1 billion shortfall. But she told me mandates from Washington without money to pay for the programs are a problem. That's one of the reasons you really need President Bush, because we're cutting back on those numbers of mandates that the federal government puts on states that are incredibly costly. Economically strapped Maine voters will have to be convinced that George Bush and Marilyn Quayle's husband can really ease their burden in a second term. In South Portland, Pat Callahan, News Center.